So today we're doing a spoiler-free book review of A Court in Thorn Roses by Sarah James. We're really excited for this one. We are. We're very excited. So, when 19-year-old Huntress Feyre kills a wolf in the woods, a beast-like creature arrives and demands retribution. Dragged to a treacherous, treacherous magical land she knows only from legends. But an ancient and wicked shadow over the fairylands is growing and Feyre must find a way to stop it or doom Tamlin in his world forever. So, because she, the Huntress Feyre killed one of the wolves, it broke one of the treaties with the Fae. And because of that, Tamlin, our main hero, comes after her and basically drags her back to the Feyland Spring Court where he overrules it. Mm -hmm. He's a high Fey. He is a high Fey. And that's his area and he drags her back because she broke the treaty. So while she's, she ends up going there and she's in the castle and she starts to kind of freak out a little bit in the beginning because she wants to go back to her family because she's been wanting to protect them for forever but after a while she finally realizes that she, they're being taken care of. So while she's in the spring court she gets to do some different things and she kind of starts to learn a little bit more about the Fae and what they are and she kind of learns that there are good ones and bad ones and she does come across a few because she's rebellious and decides to leave the castle when she really shouldn't. So Farrah learns that a, basically a shadowy thing, the blight is what they call it, is going over the entire court mm -hmm. and it's killing and attacking all of the Fae and it might go into the human realm. And this really worries her because of her family there. So she wants it gone and she needs to figure out how but no one will tell her. So she figures out that the blight's a problem and she keeps trying to do everything she can to help but of course she's human so they don't really want her help. She could help, but she doesn't know how because nobody can come right out and tell her what she could do to help everybody in the court. So she decides that she's fed up with it and she leaves basically and goes back home. While she's back home, she realizes that she actually does in fact love Tamlin and that there are things that she could help with if she was brave enough. So she goes back to the court looking for him, but he's not there. So she figures out what she needed to do and she goes after him to the spot where he's at. She fights for her love basically and she goes through a bunch of stuff to try and rescue him. So the ending leaves really well. There's no big cliffhanger. It's leaving you with more questions of course because there is a book too but it's satisfying to read the ending. The fact that there were parts of the book that got closed in the end was great and then the fact that there were several points that you know you want to know more about. It helps that knowing that there's yeah, a book Yeah, there too. are some things from the story that you need answers to right now and luckily we have a book yes. too otherwise it'd be kind of angry if it just <laughs> left off without answering those questions. The plus side is book two comes out on May 3rd so we're only like a it's week or so close. away so from all getting those answers. That. You finally get to read it. I'm really excited to see the points that were left open in the first book, seeing what they're going to have and how, and, they close. and how they close and what they're going to do to affect her yeah. because she's got a lot of emotions as a human and so when she has all those emotions I want to see what they're going to do to her because emotions always end up hurting you. They always mess up everything. Mm -hmm. Feelings. So what I particularly liked about this book is I've always found the Beauty and the Beast story to be very compelling. So finding a newer retelling, I guess, of Beauty and the Beast was very intriguing. Um, I love Throne of Glass, so reading another book by Sarah was amazing. And I do like that she wrote it in first person. I found that to be very interesting. I liked being inside of Pharaoh's head. So what I really like about this retelling is that it's not obviously Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. it's, it's its own retelling of it, yes, but it's so far off different that it doesn't feel like I'm just reading the exact same thing from a movie I've watched that came out many years ago. Yes. And that's one of the things I really liked about it and the fact that these characters are so real and their slow connection is really just burning the entire book and you're mm -hmm. just waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting for them to get together and when it finally happens it's like, like fireworks. fireworks go off and it's just amazing and I love them as a couple. Um, if I had to have anything I disliked about the book, which is actually really hard because I did love this book, um, I think the only thing I might have disliked about it is I felt there were certain points at the end of the book that I felt were a little bit rushed that I feel could have been maybe dragged out a few more pages. I feel the same thing. There's some spots that are rushed and some that left me a bit confused. Mm -hmm. 
which I'm not sure if it's just me or not, but there were some things I would have liked more explained, especially the Fey world and who they are. I would have liked to know more about them and their history. Yes. And for that reason alone is why I rated it four and a half stars. Um, I did give it a five out of five, um, mostly because I just, I, I fell in love with it. It was amazing and I, I highly recommend it. But there are, again, there are ports that I really wish we had had more on. So that is the end of our review video. We hope you liked it. Give us a thumbs up, a subscribe. Let us know down below if you've read the book or you haven't and you're looking forward to it or what you did or didn't like. We're really excited for it. So We're excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yes, we hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you in our next video. Bye.